hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl kiana and i'm back with another video so we about to get glammed up i don't even want y'all to see my nails right now but look they just look a hot freaking mess i'm at the nail salon now about to get them done i had cut them because i was trying to help her out and i was going to soak my nails but yeah I didn't have nail polish remover and I didn't feel like going to the store, so that was a fail. But as you can see, I got my hair done. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of it as I'm looking in the mirror. So you guys can see how long they are, um, the braids, and they look so good. My girl did her thing. I freaking love when she gets to do my hair. This is the first time she actually did a whole style on me, but yeah, she really did a good job. Like, it looks good. And I could part it either way. So today I have it in the side part. But hair done. Nails about to be done. Everything did. Okay. But before I get started into showing y'all me getting glammed up and getting everything done. I wanted to come on here and share something with you guys. Because this really just helped me and where I'm at right now. If you've seen one of my previous videos. I was kind of down and out like I was venting and talking about how you know I was feeling tired weary all the things and I remember the other night I was just going through my notes because one thing I'm gonna tell y'all write down what God speaks to you write down what you feel like God is speaking to you whether he he speaks to dreams other people um you know sermons that speak to you or whatever the case is like write it down because i went back and looked at i think for over the past year and a half about and i was like wow like i just forgot what god has already said about where i am now and it just like reminded me literally things that you would think that i would remember is crazy i felt like when the israelites were going to the promised land and the second that moses disappeared for 40 days or whatever you know they turn back to their old ways or you know i didn't turn back to my old ways but i just felt like them where i just forgot what god has spoken it was kind of like yo you did say that and it's crazy how our forgetfulness could either lead us astray or have us feeling like i don't know things aren't happening or we're doubting god or things of that sort but i encourage y'all to write everything down because god was telling me like girl did you forget what i said and i'm like actually i did and it's embarrassing like you know i didn't want to say that but being real i did and i was thinking about how too god has always came through for me like i was sitting in this car on my way to the nail salon i'm like yo i remember when i was praying for this car and how god showed up and he did that for me i remember how I was praying for my smile to be fixed. Now I'm here with braces and God pulled through for me and he made that happen. And I'm like, God has never became void on his word. And he's not only spoken to me personally, but he's confirmed it through outside people and leaders in my life. And it's just like, don't forget what God has spoken to you and continue to trust in that because he is so good on his word. Like our forgetfulness could lead us into not walking into the promises that God has for us. Because when the Israelites were going to the promised land, there were certain things that almost stopped them. And God is so gracious and so good that no matter what they did, like he still pulled through for them. So I want y'all to be encouraged in that and know that he's got your back. My girl is right here walking past me. She probably been watching me talk. So she know what's up. She know I'm about to film. So she let me film. I love her. Y'all, one thing about her before I go in, because I have about five or six minutes or so, but I'm about to go in because I see her going in. But one thing about her, whenever she do my nails, they not going to come off. Like, they going to last. So I'm excited to get my nails done because it's long overdue and I've been trying to hold out on purpose. I just been too lazy to take them off, but let's go ahead and head on. I 
just got my nails done. I'm about to go to Sephora, but can we just talk about how she never fails? Like, do y'all see this? Down to the details. I wanted something that was like very like beachy, very vacation. And my girl understood the assignment. Like, mm, looks like I should be on somebody's beach. I'm so excited. <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to go to Sephora. I wanna see really quickly if there is like a little body spray, cause I'm running out of mine. I think I'm pretty much out of it, honestly. And I like to wear body sprays at night and sometimes underneath my perfumes, just to layer on smells. And I'm gonna look at, I think the Sol de Janeiro, but I wanna smell like the two newer scents and see which one I like out of the two. And then I want to get the Urban Decay All Nighter because I think in this heat, I'm going to need a little bit more of a setting spray. Like, I love my Charlotte Tillsbury, but, like, I feel like, you know, Urban Decay going to hold the girls down. I mean, it's called All Nighter. So, it's it's meant. It's meant to hold the girls down. So, we about to go ahead and hit it. I got the mini Urban Decay All Nighter. And I hope this holds me up when I'm outside and I went with number 68. This smells so good to me. I don't know, I'm into like really, it depends on my mood, but you know, at nighttime I want like a little bit more of a muskier scent, but like for daytime, especially during the summer, spring seasons, like this sweet like scent just, I don't know, it just, I love it. So I really like this one cause it has like a nice fruity like, floral scent which doesn't smell too sweet too like alcoholy so that's the thing I went with tomorrow I'm going to be getting my lashes done so I'm hoping the girl lets me record I found out about her through one of my co-workers and when my co-worker came back from vacation she was like yeah girl I was in like the waterfalls and all this different stuff and her lashes still look like she had just got them done. So I'm excited to go see this new person. Um, hopefully she'll let me record in there because lashes need to be done for vacation. Like I want to be as most like, I want to feel like I don't have to do as much on vacation. You know what I'm saying? Like, so to get my lashes done, I'm gonna do my brows myself. Um, to have my nails done, etc. It's just like I don't have to do too much to get ready, you know? It's like I could cut off some of my get ready time or I could just, you know, simply just go and feel like I'm already ready for the day. So, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm in love with my nails. Like, you can see me just talking with my hands like, yeah, girl. It is the next day. Um, I took a shower last night, but I also took one today because she recommended, you know, not to shower for 24 hours after getting my lashes done. So just to be safe, I'm like, let me make sure, you know, that I'm clean for the day. I'm wearing C today. That's the perfume that I have on. And I decided to do my hair in a middle part. I did my hair in the middle part today and I'm about to head over there. I'll be a little bit early, but that'll give me time to find the place or whatever. Y'all, how about, so look at this hand, right? This hand is all that matters to me because like I'm right-handed. So when I do like pictures and stuff with my nails, like it'll more than likely be my left hand. This hand is fine, but look at this hand. This is my right hand. Y'all see that? Like I'm missing some of my little, gems I guess I don't know but I'm missing some of them on this hand already like it's only been a day and I'm sure if I hit my girl up like she'll do it for me like she'll fix it but I kind of don't feel like going it's not the biggest deal to be honest I'm not tripping and it's not her fault like these things are just 
that's like what you have to deal with when you get these little gems or whatever on your nails but i'm about to go ahead and head to homegirl's place so i can be on time and all that stuff i can't wait i you know i love my natural face but like i said this is just going to allow me to you know be stress-free on vacation and just be <laughs> as minimal when it comes as i can when it comes to getting ready so yeah I'm back. I know my lashes look crazy only because my eyebrows are so light, but don't worry. I'm going to tint them. I don't know if I'm going to tint them for this video because I kind of want to tint them within a certain time frame of me leaving. And we have four days before we leave or five days, something around that. And so I think I'm going to do them Monday night, um, which, you know, my videos go up on Sunday. So you guys probably won't get to see them tinted until the next video, but you'll get to see everything on together. But honestly love them i think they're so full so thick which is perfect because i am leaving and going for 10 days so on top of me leaving for 10 days like they have to last me prior to leaving i plan on swimming i plan on getting in the water like fully submerged and everything else so i wanted them thick enough to last me the entire trip hopefully so that you know i don't have to worry about again lashes and hopefully my brows, like I'm going to bring my brows stuff too, but hopefully my brows and all that type of stuff, I don't have to worry about the whole entire time I'm there really. And it'll just be like doing my face routine and just putting on like, you know, the basic simple makeup looks that I have in mind. I may do some looks where I have a little bit of shadow or whatever, but I don't know. We'll see. I love them though. They look so good. She was really sweet. You know, we talked almost the entire time and... You know, her place was really, really nice. I really liked her. So I will, if I ever need my lashes done again, definitely be going Y'all, it is so hot, let me tell you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm about to turn this AC up. But, can y'all hear me? <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe I'm not going to turn it up. But I'm on my way to get a wax. This is the last part of my little maintenance vacation maintenance vlog um so i'm pretty much ready i guess i'm gonna tip my eyebrows tomorrow it is sunday so i'm just gonna get this last clip uploaded to the video for you guys um because you know your girl was editing already so i just had to add this on <sighs> y'all i'm gonna try to record a little bit in there but you know we gotta get it right we gotta get it right update on the nails <laughs> left hand is still looking good right hand is taking this L let me tell you can you see it's just taking this L like they're pretty much gone but let's go ahead and head to our appointment so I'm not late literally sweating so bad it's so hot um if anyone's wondering i did take a shower before i came to this appointment but i feel like i'm just sweating so much in general so of course i'm gonna take another shower tonight but we are ready we are ready for vacation i got my nails done y'all got to get that done with me hair is done lashes done we're doing our eyebrows tomorrow. I'm gonna wax my own armpits. Honestly, I don't know if y'all can tell, but they really haven't grown back that much. So I don't even know. I said I was gonna pack my wax and stuff, but I honestly don't think I will because it's been about three weeks since I last waxed them. And they usually don't last this long. But you know, the hair grows back slower over time. So I guess that's what that is. But we are ready for a vacation. I can't wait to see y'all in our first destination. And then you guys will get to see where the second destination is next video as well. So where do you guys think I'm going? Comment down below your guesses. And I can't wait to see you guys there. Love you guys.